Hi, it's Larry the Llama here. How you doing? Mowing the grass. That's how the Israeli army described their attack on Gaza a few months back, where 2,000 people were killed, 400 of them children. Three times the Israelis have bombed Gaza in the last seven years, mowing the lawn to keep the grass down. Get it? Governments use phrases like this all the time. When civilians are killed or wounded in war, they call it collateral damage. Like it can't be helped. It's an unfortunate but necessary thing. Remember extraordinary rendition? Doesn't sound too bad, does it? Kidnapping people, flying them halfway across the world where they can be tortured without prying eyes. Over 2,000 people have been killed by drone attacks since Obama came to office but less than 100 were known terrorists. John Brennan, though, chief of the CIA, he calls that surgical precision. He says drones, and I quote, eliminate the cancerous tumor called an Al-Qaeda terrorist while limiting damage to the tissue around it. The tissue around it, that's old people and children killed in their beds. Maybe politicians only use this language so they can sleep at nights, but maybe there's more to it. I think they use these phrases to, to sanitize what they do, to stop us getting upset and angry about what's being done in our name. But it's too easy just blaming governments. Maybe we don't want the government telling us like it is because that would force us to do something about it. Kareem the Camel says, every time a politician says collateral damage or damaged tissue instead of innocent civilians burned alive, they should put a million dollars into a swear box. <laughs> I'm all for that, especially if it gives them a few sleepless nights and gets us demanding they stop killing people.